Hello everyone. What is packet sniffing? When data is transmitted over the computer network, it is broken down into smaller pieces at the sender's device called packets and reassembled at receiver's device in original format. Now, packet sniffing is a method of capturing and reading data packets sent over the computer network. It is similar to as wire tapping to a telephone network. Packet sniffing is used by network administrators for monitoring and security purposes. However, it can also be used by hackers to spy or steal confidential data. It can also be used by ISPs, advertisers and governments to track all your activities such as who is receiver of your email, what is content of that email, what you download, what you looked on the website streaming events like video, audio, etc. There are two main types of packet sniffing, hardware and software. Hardware packet sniffing uses a physical device that plugs directly into the network. This method is favored by IT professionals who want to access specific network traffic. Software packet sniffing uses a program to capture all the network traffic sent across the network. This type is much more popular today than hardware packet sniffing. Okay, now packet sniffing is done by using tools called packet sniffer, also known as packet analyzer, protocol analyzer or network analyzer. It's a piece of hardware or software used to monitor network traffic. Packet sniffer can be configured in two ways, filtered or unfiltered. Filtered is used when only specific data packet have to be captured, similar to hardware packet sniffing. And unfiltered is used when all the packets have to be captured. It is similar to software packet sniffing. Wireshark, SmartSniff are example of packet sniffing tools. Okay, now when a hacker execute a sniffing attack, it can be classified into two types, active and passive. Passive sniffing is typically used in networks where hubs are used. When a small number of devices are connected to your local area network or wireless network, a hacker could connect to and passively monitor all network traffic going through the hub. This type of packet sniffing can be very difficult to detect. Now on the other hand, active sniffing is used in large networks where switches are used because switches direct traffic only to specific devices. Passive sniffing simply won't provide access to all network traffic. So in such a case, sniffing won't be helpful for either legitimate or illegitimate purposes. Hackers will be forced to bypass the restrictions created by the network switch. This requires active sniffing which adds further traffic to the network and in turn makes it detectable to network security tools. Here are some of the different types of packet sniffing methods and techniques that hackers use, such as Wi-Fi sniffing, password sniffing, DNS poisoning, ARP sniffing, DHCP sniffing, and a few more. Here are a couple of examples of packet sniffing attacks. A Russian hacking group known as Fancy Bear used Wi-Fi sniffing to steal usernames, passwords, and other data from hotel guests in Europe and Middle East. They also used malware and eternal blue which exploited vulnerabilities in Windows. More recently in 2021 Fancy Bear was also found to spread malware through unpatched vulnerabilities in Cisco routers. Another sniffing attack occurred in 2009 when an American payment processing company Heartland Payment Systems experienced a security breach allowing sniffers to access credit card holder data. Online Payment Processing Corporation was fined $12.6 million for failing to protect customers' data from the sniffing attack. Now you must be thinking about how to prevent packet sniffing, right? Well, encrypting data you send or receive using trusted Wi-Fi networks, scanning your network for dangers, and keeping software updated can be helpful. Alright, so with that, this brings me to the end of my topic. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.